So sample problem 21.3 is kind of a variation on the theme of what we've kind of been doing in our previous in-class problem. In our previous in-class problem, we use two known oxidation and reduction potentials in half cells to figure out what the E cell would be for a spontaneous voltaic cell. What we do in sample problem 21.3 is say, well, what if E cell was known and one of the half reaction potentials was known. We can use that to figure out the half cell potential of an unknown. And so really it's just a different variable that we have here, but we're going to treat this problem the same way that we treat all of our problems here for calculating kind of um, E cells for uh, spontaneous voltaic cells. So first thing again we want to do is we want to split apart this process into our two half reactions. We can see here that we've got bromine going to bromide. The only way to do that and have our charges balance is if we have electrons on the left. So that means, again, this is our reduction reaction. So this is going to be E naught reduction. And again, I'm going to put Br2 there. Other one here, we've got zinc. Again, zinc solid going to zinc 2 plus. The only way to do that is to have two electrons on the right. So again, this is our oxidation. So E naught ox, and again this is for zinc. They actually give us a value for this. Okay, We have the E naught here for zinc, and again we could look it up on the table here. We could look it up for zinc. The reduction for zinc is negative 0.76, so if we're looking at the oxidation of zinc, we're going to have positive 0.76 volts. And again, this is where what I do is going to be a little bit different from what your book does because this again, looking it up directly from Appendix B, excuse me, Appendix D, this gives you the reduction potential. Since we want to consider zinc in an oxidative way, we need to take the negative of this. Again, sum these up and you're going to get our overall reaction. We don't need to do any scaling. So this was already a balanced um, redox reaction. So again, we've got bromine plus zinc goes to 2 bromide plus zinc. And we know E cell for this because they give it to us, 1.83 volts. So if we treat this problem like we had the other ones, E reduction plus E oxidation should give this number. So now this just becomes our unknown rather than our E cell. So we can say E cell equals reduction standard potential plus the oxidation standard potential, positive 1.83 volts equals, this is what we don't know, our reduction potential plus we do know our oxidation potential and that's positive 0.76. Again, pretty straightforward algebra here. Positive 1.07 volts is a standard reduction potential for bromine. Pretty straightforward with this problem. Truth be told here, if you actually had Appendix B, right, you could look up bromine here and you could see that it's 1.07. So this wasn't some magic one that didn't happen to have something that was on Appendix B or that nobody knew. We actually did know what it was um, and we went through a calculation to just verify it.